April 23rd is El Dia del Libro, El Dia de la Rosa, and the Feast of San Jordi, which is kind of a lot to celebrate. On this holiday, sometimes people give books to each other, sometimes people give roses to each other, and who doesn't love a celebration that involves giving and getting books, right? This is a really fun day to teach about in your Spanish classes, so what I wanted to do today is to share some ideas and resources you could use to share about this cultural celebration in your classes. Let's get right into it. Hey, my name is Ashley, aka Senorita Spanish, where I provide easy to use resources to save you time and energy while you're lesson planning. If you're new here, I just want to make sure that you know that links to everything that I mentioned will be down in the description box below. So the first thing I wanted to share with you is this video from Dreaming Spanish. And if you're not familiar with that channel, highly, highly recommend that you go check it out. He does a great job creating comprehensible videos for Spanish learners, and they've actually started adding more Spanish speakers so you can hear different accents and different vocabulary from kind of around the world. They're doing a really, really great job. This is my favorite video to use for teaching about El Día de San Jordi, and I will link it for you down in the description box below. Another option for this day is to make roses, and I do quotation marks because it's kind of fun to do tissue paper flowers. Julie from Mundo de Pepita has a great tutorial on how to do this on her blog, which I will link for you down below. But I think that this could be a really good opportunity for a fundraiser for your Spanish club. So you might have students make tissue flowers, or maybe it's just your Spanish club that does it, and then they could sell them at lunch or maybe between classes, depending on how your bell schedule is set up. If you're looking for more ideas for your Spanish club, you might want to check out my video that I have here with 20 different Spanish club activity ideas. Another option for teaching your students about El Día de San Jordi is this reading and comprehension activity. It's printable and digital, and of course, I made it comprehensible for learners. So there's lots of visuals and there's a glossary down at the bottom to help them with any vocabulary that they might not have experienced before, which is possible considering the nature of this legend. But you could use it to teach them about the legend, or you could just print it off and add it to your FER library in case you need to expand that. April 23rd is also El Dia del Libro, like I mentioned at the start of this video, so I wanted to share a few activity ideas that are specific to that, and not so much El Dia de la Rosa and San Jordi. So one option is to have your students create their own very simple story in Spanish, Obviously, how simple would depend on the level of your classes and turn it into a mini book. I have a tutorial on my channel where I show how to take one sheet of computer paper and fold it up to make just kind of this cute little book where they could write their sentences and illustrate their story and turn it into little mini books that they could then trade and read. Another option for celebrating El Dia del Libro is to just have a whole day where they get to read. You could have them bring in blankets and pillows and choose something from their FER library and just kind of spread them out around the room or underneath a desk and they can just hang out and read in Spanish. You can assign a research project for them to learn about famous Spanish-speaking authors. Here is one example. I'm sure you've heard of him, but it's a really simple template for students to learn more and share about different authors that they may or may not have heard about, may or may not have read, depending on what level they're in. Another option is to have your students write book reviews of any of their favorite books using these book review templates. This set actually comes with four different templates, so I just wanted to show you one really quickly. It's really simple and there's some scaffolded language, but there are also some other versions, just depending on what level you want to use them with. They are set up so they can review any book and they're in Spanish or in Spanish with English supports. Students can describe the book, draw their favorite part, even give it a star rating, and they turn into a really good bulletin board, especially if you have some space around like where your FER library is because then students can see, hey, what have my classmates been reading? What are they liking? What would they recommend? Or, you know, maybe they found something that they didn't like so much. So there you have it, a few different ways to celebrate El Día del Libro, El Día de la Rosa, and El Día de San Jordi. Like I said, there's a lot to celebrate. Do you do anything in your classes already to celebrate this holiday? Comment down below and let me know. I can't wait to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Click subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified of all new content I create for you in the future. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.